Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on the use of the Scenario Manager in Excel. In this Scenario Manager overview, I'd like to discuss what it can do for you, what if analysis, and summary reports. So first off, what can it do for you? Scenario Manager can make analysis easier by allowing you to build a scenario that will perform what if analysis when you have more than two input cells. You can use the scenario over and over with varying inputs to see which scenario might work best. Now, in order to use Scenario Manager, you need to have a working spreadsheet with good formulas in it. So once you set up a working spreadsheet with good formulas that will allow you to do the what if analysis you want, you're ready to start using that Scenario Manager. The repeated use of a scenario is what allows you to do what if analysis. What will happen if we do this? Then what will happen if we change this? And so on. That's your what if analysis. Scenario Manager will also produce summary reports that summarize the key differences in the various scenarios and the impact result cell from those scenarios. Defining a scenario. Remember, you must start with a well-built spreadsheet that has working formulas that you have tested and confirmed the formulas work correctly. Then decide what scenarios you wish to evaluate through what if analysis. If you're using more than two input cells, you'll of course use the Scenario Manager. Now you're ready to open Scenario Manager and define your scenario. So proceed to the Data Ribbon, look in the Data Tools group for What If Analysis, and click on that What If Analysis button, find the Scenario Manager, select Scenario Manager, in the Scenario Manager dialog box, and then click Add. In the Add a Scenario dialog box, name the scenario. You want to give it a meaningful name so you will be able to tell one scenario from another as you start building scenarios. Give in your comments an adequate description to make it clear to others who might be trying to look at your scenarios what's going on as well. Once you filled in those blanks you're going to enter your input cells or the changing cells as Excel calls them. These cells can be located anywhere in the worksheet. If you need to, use the control key to select multiple non-contiguous cells. Once you've done that, click OK and the Scenario Values dialog box will open. Now, if you look at the one on screen now, this example I have used define names for my cell references. Therefore, when you see them in the Scenario Values dialog box, it's a little bit easier to understand what it is you're looking at. And these will feed your reports that you would build later. So you start here by entering the values you want in each of the changing cells. So for this scenario, I have 2,900 widgets sold in thousands at an average price of 376 with salaries and benefits of 138,000 advertising expense of 18,500 and administrative costs of 62,000. From there, it's just a matter of clicking OK. Now I've got one scenario added. I can then go through the process to add additional ones. Now let's watch this short clip of me creating a scenario. To view a scenario, you simply go to the Data Ribbon and open the Scenario Manager. This is the Scenario Manager dialog box. Once you're here, you first select which scenario you would like to see, and then you click on Show. The results will be displayed within the spreadsheet that you've built the scenario upon.
Next, let's take a look at how this works within a live spreadsheet. So watch this little video clip. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.